Hey guys, welcome back to VFX Films. My name is Isaiah, and today I'm going to show you how to cover that little red tip of a training gun or a airsoft gun in After Effects. Mm. Now you can probably do this in Hit Film, but I'm doing it in After Effects because that's what I edit. That's what I'm editing my movie with. Now, this does not contain any spoilers for my movie, and if you haven't seen the trailer yet, the link will be in the description, or you can go here. <laughs> Alright. Now that you've gone and seen the trailer, let's go down to the computer and we'll do some magic. Okay guys, so here we are on the computer. <clears throat> now, basically the first thing, obviously, you want to go into After Effects. Um, and you're going to want to import your footage. Hold on, let me go to my render queue, make sure, okay. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is uh, click import, file, and then find your um, footage, you know, your desktop, anywhere, so let's find where it is. So, but I already got mine right here, and so then you're going to click on it, drag it, and bring it to this thing to create a new composition. Now, we'll name this comp, actually I'm not going to name it right now, uh, I'll, I'll just rename this one, just... Okay, <clears throat> now you're going to want to. So you got. So I've got this guy right here that I have to uh, take out. So the first thing I tried was uh, change to color. Uh, oh, hold up. Just double click it. And from this to like this, and see, it just turned it purple. It didn't do anything. And also, one of the problems what I had was it changed the Nuka Cola cap caps that I made. That we're over here. Um, obviously, what I could do is I could uh, let's see. I could hit Control D. Oh, sorry. Click on my footage. Hit Control D. And then um, get rid of it on here. Delete. And on no, sorry. Control Z. Get rid of it on here. And then uh, I could obviously like mask out. Control Z. Sorry, I'm a clutch right now, hold on. Okay, get rid of it on here, right here. Delete. There we go. Now, I go right here. And then you could obviously mask out. This is just a quick mask. Mask out your thing and then turn it back on. But you know what I mean? Like, you still got that purple. But it wouldn't work for me. It changed purple, so I tried. Like, you know, I, if I go white doesn't do anything so I like I like go there I go black doesn't do anything so uh and then uh yeah didn't do it didn't do anything for me so instead of doing that I uh basically what I did I also tried a tint that didn't look as good um, as I would have liked it to. So basically what I did was um, I create a new go to a layer, new adjustment layer. Okay. And then I'll rename it um, just tip I guess. Not top oh my goodness dude. Tip. There we go. Alright. And then you're gonna want to go to the effects panel and hit shift channels, okay? There you go, put that on there. Now I'm going to turn that off for right now. And go to your pen tool and zoom in over here and make a mask. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. And uh, make a small mask around your foot. Uh, around your, the tip. It could be a. If you, um, if you were doing like a. Uh, you get an airsoft gun where it doesn't have that tip. This is a training gun for you when it's like twenty dollars on Amazon. Um, you can go like this and do that around the tip, but like I obviously can't do that. So uh, then I'm gonna turn this back on. Oops, didn't mean to solo it. Just turn it back on. Oh, I never turned it off. I turned this off. Okay, turn that back on and change the alpha, uh, the take red from to green. 
Okay, and there you go. So you got like a gray tip now. Now you can make the uh, like that. There you go, right? Blue to green. Just to, just yeah. I just keep it on. I just keep it on blue. You can do whatever works. I think pretty much just the blue is just a shadow. The green. Uh, you can do to luminance, it just depends on your thing, on your scene, but for mine, I just keep it on, nope, green. Alright, okay, next thing you want to do is take a curves, okay, and make a dot here, here, and here, go like this, go like this, now um, hit F on your thing. And I'm pretty sure I put it to like five, something like that. There you go. And boost the feather a little bit. Bring up the uh, all right. Bring, bring this up a little bit. Should tamper with your mask a little bit. Ooh. Oops. Control Z. Oh, I accidentally put it on here, sorry. Anyways, um, so here, hold on, let me, let me see what's, what's, what's wrong with it. Okay, so here. And then, uh, there we go. It's good enough. All right. There you go. You got your thing. And then obviously you're gonna wanna track it. So uh, we'll shut this layer off. Go to a uh, layer, new, null object. <clears throat> All right, then I hit click this. Right click, uh, track motion. Okay. Oh, you can go ahead and track it. Anyway. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hit it. I don't know how well this one's gonna come out, but uh, if you take your time into it, you could even do keyframes key if you want to get it super perfect. I'm just gonna do it to there, hit apply, okay. What, hold on, let me, let me double check one here. Yep, wait, yep, okay. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, hit this whip tool right here, and Wait, parent it to the um, null. And then um, trim this layer back on and hopefully it turned out okay. I don't know how long I tracked it to. Okay, let me redo that track real quick. Um, transform. Here. Let's do this. Hit U. Just click on the keyframe. Hit this thing, hit U, and I'll just go like this, and delete. Okay, this time I'm going to hit animation, track motion, uh, motion source. What we can do, um, can't transform, and then um, rotate. Okay, I'm back, sorry, I had to do something quick. And uh, rotation and scale. We'll do that, I guess, too. I don't know. Actually, I don't need to take the rotation. Just do this. All right. We'll try this. Okay. We're just going to do position. Okay, I don't need the second track. I forget how. Okay. Track number one. There we go. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll try it right there. So we'll go one frame forward, one frame forward. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Control Z. Go back over here. Go back over here. 
here. Alright, hopefully that stayed a little bit better. Okay. We'll do it from right there. We'll hit apply. Okay. And then, um... Let me do this. Hold up. Okay, hit this right here. Okay, there we go. It should be okay. All right, and then pick whip it to the null or whatever it's called, and let's try it out. Yeah, I got. I have a really bad track, but if you guys do like a really good track, and then like a good track, if you want to track it with Mocha or something, um, or and then or do keyframes, that would work. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how you do it. And then I did it for this one was a little bit harder. Um, but it's just the same thing. I just added a brightness and contrast. Oh, oh actually, there we go. There we go. Yeah, and then, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you do the whole thing. So I hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.